Hey guys, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make an arch the most accurate and efficient way. Yes, I said accurate and efficient. So that means there will be some math, but I'm gonna take that challenge to show you how simple the math really is and that you can do it. There's only a few concepts we need to understand which are very simple. First, the arch we're dealing with comes from a circle. A circle is a closed shape where all surfaces are equal distance from the center. A straight line from the center of the circle to the surface is called the radius. The radius is always the same length no matter what direction or angle. Once you know the radius, you can draw any circle or any part of a circle. A straight line from one surface to another surface in a circle is called a chord. Any straight line, whether big, small, or at any angle, is a chord. These are all chords. There is a special type of chord called the diameter. This is a straight line from one surface to another surface that crosses the middle of the circle. Just like the radius, no matter the orientation of the line, it will always be the same length. Because the diameter goes out from the center in opposite directions, you can see that two radius equal the diameter. Simple, right? We only have one more concept to understand, and it's called the intersecting chord theorem. Now don't get excited thinking, here it comes, the hard part, because you already know what this means. Intersecting just means two lines that share a point. When two lines cross each other, the point where they cross is the intersection. And a chord is any line from one surface to another in a circle. That leaves theorem, which is just a law or rule. So what does the intersecting chord theorem say? When you have any two chords, we'll call this chord A and this chord B, if we split each chord into two segments at the intersection, A1 and A2, and B1 and B2, the theorem says, a1 times A2 equals B1 times B2. Here's an example. Let's say we need an arch that is 12 inches wide, and we call that line A. Then we want the arch to rise four inches, and we call that line B. Because the lines split at the intersection, we need to label them A1 and A2, and B1 and B2. Notice that line B is in the center of the arch. This makes line B the diameter of the arc or circle, which means that A1 must be half the length of line A, six inches, and A2 must also be six inches. A1 and A2 are always half of line A. We know the rise is four inches, making B1 four inches, now we need to find B2. Remember, the theorem states A1 times A2 equals B1 times B2. So A1 times A2 is six times six, equaling 36, meaning B1 times B2 must equal 36. And you know B1 is four, so we have to divide 36 by four to get the length of B2, which equals nine. So B1 equals four and B2 equals nine. Four times nine equals 36. And that's the intersecting chord theorem. Pretty cool. But if you remember, we need the radius to draw the arch. So how do we find the radius? Simple, because line B goes through the center of the circle, making it the diameter, and the radius is half the diameter. If we add B1, 4, and B2, 9 together, we get 13, the length of the diameter. And 13 divided by 2 equals 6.5. So the radius is 6.5 inches. Now let's do one in real time so you can see how fast it really is. Let's say the width of our arch is 46 inches and the rise is 18 and a quarter inches. 46 divided by two equals 23. 23 times 23, which is A1 times A2, equals 529. 529 divided by 18 and a quarter, which is B1, equals 29. 
29 plus 18 and a quarter is B1 plus B2 equals 47 and a quarter. That's the diameter of the arch. 47 and a quarter divided by two equals 23 and 5 eighths. So our radius is 23 and 5 eighths inch. It's that fast, that simple, and dead on balls accurate. Now you probably noticed I didn't start with a formula. And there are at least four different formulas I know of that will give you the radius. But for me, if I understand how something works, I have a much better chance of remembering it. So here's the formula that goes with this theorem. And it follows exactly what we went over. Start by dividing the width in half, then multiply the two halves together. Because the numbers are the same, that's called squaring a number, represented by the little two. Then divide the answer by the arc height, represented by h. Next, add back the height to your answer, getting the diameter length, then divide by two for the radius. Like I said, pretty simple, and I hope you found it easy to follow. Now you know how to calculate the radius for each arch. It's time to draw it out. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll show you multiple ways to draw your arch. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.